If you haven't created a Sketch account yet, that's where you'll want to start. First, head to Sketch.com and click Get Started for free. Here, you'll have a chance to enter some quick info about yourself, create a password, and review the terms of service and privacy policy. When you're ready, click Sign Up, and a verification email will be on its way. To finish setting up your account, head to your inbox and confirm your email. But no worries, you can also do this later. At this point, you can choose to subscribe straight away and enter your billing information, or continue to your workspace and start your free trial. Welcome to your workspace. You'll find yourself in the Discover tab of the side navigation, with a curated selection of articles, resources, and inspiration, along with news about the latest sketch updates, so be sure to keep an eye out. In the top left corner, you'll see the name of the current workspace, which you can click on to switch between any other workspaces that you're a member of, as well as create a new workspace for yourself or your team. To invite other team members to your workspace or change settings like the name of the workspace itself, head to People and Settings on the left sidebar. This is the People tab. Here, you'll see a list of all the current members of your workspace. We'll revisit this in a moment after I've invited some folks to join me in my workspace. To invite other members of my team, I'll click Invite Members. And in the modal that appears, I'll enter the email address of the first person I'd like to invite to my workspace. Then, I'll click the drop-down to choose whether I want to make them a viewer or an editor. Viewers can access your workspace from any browser and on any device, and they're completely free. This role is great for project managers, stakeholders, and anyone in your workspace that doesn't need to edit documents. While they don't have access to the Mac app, viewers can view documents in the workspace, share their feedback via comments, inspect designs, and even download exportable assets. Don't worry, we'll talk about what all this means later. Editors on a workspace can do everything viewers can, plus they have access to the Mac app. This role is great for designers and anyone else who needs access to the Mac app to create, edit, and collaborate on design files in real time. Any viewer or editor can also be made an admin, which allows them to manage the workspace, add or remove members, and edit the roles of other members. As the creator of a workspace, you'll always be an admin, but you can switch from an editor to a viewer if you want to. Now that I've finished setting up this member, I'll click Add to List. I can repeat this process for any additional folks, then click Add Members to send the invites. Once you've sent an invite, you'll see the name and email of the people you've invited along with a pending badge next to their role. This badge will disappear once they accept the invitation email. If you ever see someone appear on the list as a guest, that means they've been invited to a specific document in the workspace, rather than the workspace itself. The guest role is ideal when you need to collaborate with people outside your organization, or people you're working with that don't need full access to every document in the workspace. Before we head over to the Mac app, if you're interested in changing the name of your workspace or your avatar image, just head to the Settings tab at the top.